my hair where I need to double band it because otherwise it just falls. <laughs> Welcome to another video and my last speed workout for Chicago. So it is a Tuesday, um, October 2nd. It's almost 5.30 and uh, it's a race week. I'm nervous, but I'm also very excited. So today is our last uh, speed workout. It's gonna be between warm up and cool down miles. So it's gonna be 800 meter repeats at a 730 minute mile pace, so in 3 minutes and 45 seconds, sandwiched between warm up and cool down miles. Uh, and between the 800 meter repeats, I have a 200 meter jog uh, recovery. And um, they're not as fast as my past track workouts. Usually I would do them at a 630 pace, but being race week, we're not trying to push our body so hard but we're just kind of spinning the legs and getting the last little bit in uh, since my goal pace is a 7.30. Um, so just getting the legs moving and whatnot. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna uh, finish now my warm up routine, uh, which if you're curious to see what it's about, go check out my last uh, YouTube video. But I'm gonna go do that and then head on over to the track. So the workout is done. I am back in my car. <sighs> Very classy of me. But workout done. I'm gonna go home and um, get to work because it's 7.31. I have a meeting at eight. But the workout felt really good. I did it with a friend. Um, so I wasn't able to film, uh, as much as I thought, but we had a really good time and it made the time fly by. Uh, but we're going to talk about the workout later, but it felt really good. This was a really good confidence booster for me. It wasn't a particularly challenging, uh, workout, um, considering I've done 800 meter repeats, uh, a minute mile faster than what I did today. But this was what I needed during, you know, race week. So that was kind of exciting that that was my last speed workout of this cycle. And the next one is going to be a 26.2 marathon pace run. <laughs> but I'm going to go home now and I'll catch up with y'all later. Hello. Currently at my lunch break. If you're interested in knowing what I'm having for lunch, I'm having some buffalo pretzel things, grapes, and then a buffalo hummus tuna salad situation. Let me, this is what it looks like. It ain't pretty, but I'm a busy girl. I don't have time to make pretty lunches. <laughs> but before I do um, munch on that, I just wanted to quickly recap uh, this morning's workout. So I'll put the splits right here on the screen and if you've been following me on Instagram or seen other type of workouts, this pace is not my 800 meter uh, repeat pace. It's actually a minute slower. But the whole point of this workout was not to hit my uh, critical velocity paces or anything like that or any sort of lactate threshold work. This was just to get my legs moving and hit my uh, marathon goal pace for this workout in prep for Sunday. 
and it felt really good. I was able to basically keep conversation the entire time. I had a friend with me and we were doing the same workout together. He's not running Chicago at all. He's actually way faster than I am, but he very kindly you know, offered to come and keep me company um, and do the workout with me. And so, um, you know, we were able to chat the whole way through. So that pace felt really good. And going into Chicago, I'm, I'm very nervous. I'm always nervous before races or these events, but I'm very excited about it. Um, and it's going to be so much fun. I'm excited. I'm going to see my cousin and his wife, which I am so excited about. I haven't seen them since Thanksgiving last year, so it's going to be a really good time. A lot of my friends are running Chicago, so it's going to be great. Um, and I have specific time goals and whatnot, um, and I'm going to do my absolute best to hit them, but at the same time, I'm just going to go and enjoy the event and enjoy the city in a way that I've never experienced it before. I've actually only been to Chicago once, I think five years ago, and I saw very little bit of it. So this is going to be a really fun opportunity. But over the last few months with training with a coach and prioritizing my recovery at the beginning of training and then really focusing on that and um, slowly building volume back up. I learned a lot during this training cycle. I learned really the importance of unilateral work, which sounds really weird, but I've always avoided unilateral work because I was like, this takes twice the time. I'm just going to do squats. Um, but learning the prior how important that is was really, really key learning how important it is to understand muscle imbalances and learning where your weaknesses are so that you can strengthen those um, and not suffer from any counteracting um, injuries that could occur. But also understanding the importance of lactate threshold and critical velocity workouts within an entire week in terms of making sure that I'm resting enough beforehand, making sure that I'm eating enough on the days beforehand, because treating those workouts like a race or race day is really, really important to have the fuel, the energy, the strength to actually perform during those sessions, because they're hard. They're meant to be hard. They're meant to kick your ass. <laughs> um, and I've just learned then how important recovery is. I've really understood through recovering from an injury and then obviously having to recover from these tough, tough workouts that I'd never done before. I've really understood how important it is to prioritize fuel and recovery and nutrition and rest and um, PT, mobility work, all of that around because for a really long time I wasn't able to run because of my injury and then there were days after my tempo workouts or lactate threshold and critical velocity workouts where I felt awful and it was because I wasn't eating enough or I wasn't getting the proper amount of sleep or I wasn't resting enough the next day you know I'd go for a walk or be so busy moving around all you know all over the city that I wasn't actually taking rest and so that's something that I've really taken from this training cycle but it's this cycle is almost over I race on Sunday and I'm super excited and then on actually Wednesday I get my wisdom teeth taken out so that's gonna be really funny my elbows will be fabulous but my legs will be dead and my face will be puffy but that's okay but right now I'm just trying to focus on Chicago and not really think too much about future races or future marathons. I do already have one on the calendar. I'm already signed up for one and I'll talk about that in a future video, but I'm trying to not think about it because right now my priority is Chicago. And so I'm super excited for it. I'm super excited to see what I can do and give it my absolute all. So I'm gonna now eat my lunch if you've made it this far, comment great because great. And um, thank you for sticking around. We'll see what happens in Chicago. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye. Mm, that was a good grape.